Good morning, everybody. Ooh. Grecian Thunder here, aka Andreas, as you know me. Um, and I wanted to um, post a response to my own thread regarding uh, the three questions that I asked. And I just want to start off by saying how wonderful your responses have been so far. Um, I think um, I think I think you guys have really um, started to open up. I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, when I first started watching these um, final community videos a few months back, before I got my computer. Um, a lot of them, you know, were just showing records and doing like little mock reviews and things. And I think I think the, the community is starting to evolve a little bit um, more, and people are starting to open up and express themselves. You know, kind of like the artists that they admire. You know what I mean? So, uh, particularly, I, I, th I was affected by Derek's um, response quite a bit, and then uh, Big Star. Um, he did one yesterday, I think. Uh, or was it the day before? Damn, International Dateline. Um, but yeah, his response was great too, and thanks, thanks uh, to Big Star for saying I was a likable fella. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You know, if we ever get a chance to hang out, any of you guys, um, I, I really liked it. Um, do that. I mean, I. I you know, Omaha seems to be the mecca, I guess. That's where Jeff and Derek are. That's, I think it's the only place, I, as far as the videos I subscribe to, where there are two people in the same city, so. Um, but <laughs> I would love to go to Amsterdam. I would love to go to Copenhagen. I would love to go to Melbourne um, and visit, visit you, big star. Fred. <laughs> Um, and Montreal too, uh, Mr. Six 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 Skulls. He's he's one of my favorites um, right now. But let me get to the damn questions. All right. Um, I said three records of inspiration. Um, I'll start off by saying that I don't know. Some people have said I've got kind of a robotic thing when it comes to emotion. So I don't think records have really affected me like they do some people. I mean, I love music, don't get me wrong, but um, I haven't really had any um, milestones, so to speak, uh, as far as in conjunction with my personal life. Um, it's been more my musical life because I'm a musician, and I think that that has uh, affected my perception a bit, you know, as far as being more, I don't know if it's more critical or jaded or whatever, but the records I'm going to show have affected me in that way because they've revived my faith um, in music. And um, I'm going to start off at the beginning of when I started playing music. Um, band I heard um, in my tween slash early teen years. Um, heard him for the first time, and then uh, I only have this single by him, but I'm going to get, they just reissued, I think, all of the albums, but it's the Dead Kennedys, Halloween. <laughs> um, I started off playing punk, and this was one of the first punk bands I heard. Of course, the first punk album I heard was Nevermind the Bollocks, but um, being half American, um, I had to go for the home team, I guess. Um, and I think <clears throat> what the Dead Kennedys did musically was m more in the spirit of punk than what the Sex Pistols did. I think the Sex Pistols were a rock and roll band. If you listen to them now, um, with, with everything that's happened since. If you go back and listen to the Dead Kennedys, I mean, from their lyrical content to, I mean, the that some may consider them like a surf band because of East Bay Ray's guitar style, but I think their, their music was more original, in my opinion, um, than 
Sex Pistols. I think the Sex Pistols, I mean, well, for one, they were one of the boy bands of the 70s, if, if you um, count Malcolm McLaren's in, influence on them. But um, the Dead Kennedys, man, they're, they're a cut above. And, yeah. I love them. So, they basically introduced me to the punk genre, and, well, further uh, stoked the fire of, in my belief of this genre, and made me want to play it, rather than a lot of the other kids in the town I grew up, they were, you know, covering, like, Metallica, and um, stuff like that, They and <clears throat> when I grew up, it was, you know, Nirvana, and Pearl Jam, and then Everybody hated Nirvana in my, in my town until Kurt Cobain killed himself. So, like, me and my friends were into him pretty early on. Like, I got their first album about a year after, a year or two after it came out, Bleach. And, uh, yeah, I got called the F word quite a bit for liking that band because he was artistic and uh, you know, things like that. So, but I digress. Uh, second album of influence. Brainiac's first album, Smack Bunny Baby. I don't, they didn't put this out on record, I don't think. And if anybody knows if they did, I want it. But um, this is the first lineup, and I'm actually, you know, <clears throat> pretty much, I was friends with pretty much all these guys except for Timmy. Um, I didn't really get to know him before he tragically passed away. And it was actually around this time, um, back in 97, I think, is when he died. But, um, yeah, um, great band. And Michelle Bodine was the guitarist at the time. She, she was on this record and she went on to be in uh, Omatic and she was in Jesus with my ex-wife. But, uh, yeah, this album opened my eyes to what music could do, um, and then actually more so with their follow-up, which I don't have the cover for, for some damn reason, but Bonsai Superstar was mind-blowing to me. Um, so if you guys <laughs> haven't heard Bonsai Superstar or Smack Money Baby, um, my Brainiac, get those records. The last record I'm going to show is Donova Uno You. Um, I have been playing for years and years, and um, yeah, and I, like I said, I've become jaded. This album um, reinstituted my supreme faith in music as a powerful force. Um, I saw these guys live, and, I mean, granted, I was fucked up, but they just blew my mind. I was like, you know, it basically opened my eyes to a whole new genre, because they're kind of proggy, you know, boogie rock, I've said it before, but just awesome. And yeah, and they basically made me want to start playing again. I and I've had a lot of trouble getting bands around here. Everybody's in like 20 bands in Portland. It's fucking annoying, but that's the way it goes. Um, albums of disappointment are next. Um, I'm just gonna show this real quick. Sir Lord Baltimore's second record. Um, compared to their first record, I was disappointed. I still love it, but um, it's hard to live up. I mean. The, that first record that blows me away, Kingdom Come. This is their self-titled second album. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> that was disappointing. Um, another one I'll just say, any, any band, this is more general, any band that um, has overstayed their welcome is always disappointing. <laughs> um, I think the prime example is going to be the Rolling Stones. Um, I'm glad they're still doing it or whatever, but like, how many times can you play Satisfaction? You know what I mean? Like, oh god, that would drive me nuts. I mean, having been in bands that lasted more than five years, if, we play, if we're playing anything from our first year, I don't know, 
I'm oh, shooting myself. <laughs> but, uh, not literally. Um, but yeah, that's why I've, I've, I don't think I've ever been in a band that's lasted more than five or six years because, um, you know, I'm always evolving. And I'm not, I don't play punk anymore. I, you know, I just don't. And I'm starting to get into more electronic stuff, messing around. I've been messing around with my synthesizer a lot, so maybe I'll do some ambient weirdness or something. I like to experiment with vocal layering too. It's always been a thing. Um, conversely, uh, Brainiac's last EP, Electroshock for President, when I first heard it, I was really disappointed because the previous album, um, Hissing Crakes and Static and Tour, um, was excellent. And it was like the pinnacle of what I thought they could do, but then they went this way and they went more electronic. And at the time, I wasn't really jiving with that, so I was like, oh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> but now I listen to it and I love it. You know, there's still elements of their, you know, older style on this, but again, at first I didn't play. <clears throat> and now, what am I currently grooving to? Um, oh, I got four records here. This cluster record is rad. This is good stuff, man. I just... Um, I love listening to it and just putting it on and like, you know, surfing the interwebs or reading a book or, uh, hell, even, you know, cleaning up around the house. I mean, I, <laughs> I do that a lot. I put on a record and I'll do dishes or, you know, clean up the living room or dust. It's good. That's what music's for, right? It's the soundtrack of our lives. <clears throat> uh, are we not men? We are Devo. You know. I always go back to this record, um, one of the most fantastic debuts ever, and always will be for me, so, yeah. Uh, this Atomic Rooster record was a big surprise, I, you know, I hadn't heard of that much, uh, but uh, I've been listening to it quite a bit lately, and um, it's really fun. The vocals are goofy as hell, and, um, which I always like, I, I don't like I'm not necessarily attracted to somebody that can sing well. I'm attracted to somebody that has character in their voice. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're not just like their standard. They're not a choir boy or a choir girl. They're a singer. You know what I mean? Like somebody who express, can express themselves and have their personality come out on the recording and live. Too. That's a good record. And then finally, the daughters, the hell songs. Uh, our second record. Uh, we're playing the bejeebus out of it. So that's what I'm currently grooving to you. And um, I'm probably even gonna go record shopping today because I was digging through like all the goodies that I got at record store day. And one of the places, Moon Lane, was giving out this coupon book and you know you got ten percent off new Final 20% off used, so. Me likes the coupons. So, thanks to everybody who responded, and um, hopefully I'll have a uh, double vinyl for you maybe later on today. Visiting my grandma, so uh, family time. But uh, yeah, have a great day. And we're all still here. I'll probably talk about that in a later video. Derek, man, you're so inspiring. <laughs> I can go on about that subject for quite a while. But love you guys, and um, hope to see more videos this week. It's my crack. Bye-bye.